Uh, so here I just wanted to show you kind of what I drew up off of my CAD model. So I, I created a 3D CAD model of what this piano tilter will look like. Um, but then for my reference out here in the garage, I created just a quick little hand sketch to get me the dimensions I need. So you can see the top part, uh, that's what I just cut out, those two pieces. Uh, so I've got one, or each of those is a side. Uh, those will be the main uh, side panels, and I'll, I'll cut those down to length based on what I need. Um, but then the bottom, uh, I'm going to have two assemblies made out of two by fours, and this is kind of a, a side view of those assemblies. Uh, so be, they'll be 33 inches wide, so I'll have to cut some 33 inch wide pieces to make the, the top. Uh, the legs will be 18 and a half, so I want the overall height to be 20 inches, so that's where that comes from. And that's to match the height of the, uh, the plywood pieces I cut on the side. And then I've got a couple angle uh, boards that I'll cut to give it some, uh, I guess, side-to-side -side support so it doesn't tip and collapse on me. Um, and then a, a tie on the bottom that will tie the legs across width-wise. And so each of those will be assembled together as kind of a sub-assembly. And then they can actually, my intent is to actually have those be removable, uh, put some through bolts through them or something into the sides so that I could take those out, kind of lean them up against the wall, and then the two side pieces would be free then to, to you know, set up against the wall so I can still use my garage without, you know, having this big piano-sized plywood and wood assembly uh, taking up a bunch of space. So that's kind of my simple design. I'm going to go now. I've got set up to actually go and cut the uh, two by four pieces, so I'm going to start working on that next. So this is the design I plan on using for the piano tilter. Um, what I did is I took a 4 by 8 sheet here and I cut it in half long ways. So these are each 24 inches long. Um, and what I did is I, um, what I worked out is that I wanted my piano tilter from the ground, which this bottom edge here is going to be the ground, up to where that line is on the top. I wanted that to be 20 inches. Part of the reason for doing that is it lets me cut off this rotten piece of uh, the plywood here. This this, gra this plywood was just out in my garage for actually for a couple of years. I had a project that I wanted to get done, um, and then we ended up changing plans and not doing that. Uh, so this this three quarter inch sheet of plywood it just was sitting leaning up against the garage wall, and it got some issues with moisture, as you can see. So this lets me cut off a lot of that section by uh, coming down and you know essentially cutting four inches off. Uh, but I've, driven, or I've drawn the radius here, it's a 20 inch radius on the end, and then I've got a little bit of a lip that's the size of a 2x4, uh, so that will extend out underneath the piano, um, and that's there so that I can, uh, I, I guess I've got that marked out. So I'll cut along that lip and this radius with the jigsaw, I'll probably take the circular saw and cut most of the length along the top off, and then just finish off any work with the jigsaw, but that'll give me a piece that's... I can cut it to the length as long as I need to. It's going to be longer than my piano is tall. Uh, but I can cut this down and I can do the same thing with the other half. And these will give me the sides of the piano tilter. And then after that, um, it's just going to be working on the 2x4s for the, the center structure of it to hold it up. There we go. So I've got some number nine, two and a half inch long deck screws. And I'm going to use these to go in and attach.
channel number two. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put three holes in each of the spots. So I marked them out here. Four inches from either side and then one right in the middle. So then as I bolt these legs on uh, that I just made, that'll give me uh, basically three, three connection points at each one, which should be pretty strong. Uh, so we'll go with that. <clears throat> Video from the side. <laughs> 